Welcome back to our channel, the channel for the latest news and romantic stories about Catherine, the Princess of Wales, and her royal family. Today we bring you news. Catherine rocked in the most stunning jewellery sets as she inherited them from the family. Despite her extensive collection of fancy diamonds, large jewellery pieces, and inherited jewellery, the Princess of Wales' most expensive possessions are complete perures. A perure, a complete set of matching jewels, or demi perure, which consists of at least two fragments, is commonly used terminology for the ornate and costly accessory combinations that Catherine frequently wears. A complete perure, which means to adorn in French, usually consists of at least three items in a single design, such as necklace, studs, bracelet, and brooch. Similar sets may also include rings, tiaras, buttons, adorned panels, along with hair accessories. Sparkling coordinating diamonds were common attire for European nobility and aristocrats in the later part of the 19th century. People in the field of jewellery were constantly competing with one another to see who could develop the most unique and fashionable pieces by concocting the most imaginative and eye-catching combinations. Perores are common pieces in royal collections and should be reserved for the most solemn of events, such as coronations, royal marriages, and state banquets. A few of the perores that Queen Elizabeth II frequently wore were the royal sapphire necklace, the crown amethyst suite, the Victorian suite of sapphire and sapphires, and the Brazilian aquamarine perore. The former featured an amethyst tiara studs and bracelet, while the latter included a piece of jewellery, a tiara, and turquoise stones. During the BAFTA awards alongside her international trips to Paris and Poland, as well as at royal festivities and various events of her own, the Princess of Wales consistently sports matching jewels. Come along as I take you on a nostalgic tour of Princess Catherine's finest jewellery collection. Why don't we launch? 1. Necklace and Empress Diamond Carriage Earrings by Mappin and Webb the unique pattern that Mappin and Webb gave to the Queen of Siam served as motivation for these exquisite ears and necklaces. The earrings that form part of the brand's Empress line and retail at $4,650 come with a train attachment of 0.88 carats of circular brilliant cut diamonds set within 18 carat white gold. They also feature a safe style. Although Catherine's little pendant necklace in 18 karat white gold made its debut on the 2014 visit during the Tower of London tour, the princess initially wore the studs at Princess Charlotte's baptism in 2015. The mother of three frequently pairs the studs with the necklace, which she wore on 19 unique times, and wears the necklace with the studs on about 32. The Empress ears and necklaces have been worn with her on surrounding 12 different events, such as joining the Order of the Garter in 2016 or the Rugby World Cup, which took place in September 2023. 2. Cartier Trinity Necklace and Earrings The Princess of Wales wore the $2,040 studs, which were crafted by a French premium excellent jewellery maker, on only two times in the year of 2017. One was during an excursion to the Eiffel Tower in Paris, as well as another one was at the Rugby Tournament in France. On the 18th of March 2017, she wore the tricolored jewellery with rings that interlocked to a party in Paris, the sole occasion she wore the piece of jewellery, namely the two components from Cartier. Simultaneously, passion, loyalty are the three concepts represented by the rings. The Alhambra Necklace and Earrings by Van Cleef and Arpels Wearing the $10,200 necklace, a golden chain adorned containing six fortunate clover leaves, plus pearl and mother of quatrefoil motifs, the princess attended a total of three distinct events. The 2020 BAFTA Prizes, an evening reception in the island nation of the Bahamas in March of 2022, and the coronation performance in May of 2023. The princess wore $6,400 studs for the fourth time, with her most recent being her December 2023 Together at Christmas Carol performance, when she did not wear the piece of jewellery. 4. Earrings and a necklace set with oval-shaped sapphires and diamond drops In October of 2020, the princess donned this breathtaking sapphire outfit for her visit with the head of state of Ukraine. Alongside the matching earrings, Catherine often dons the pendant necklace that has a big sapphire encircled by a beautiful diamond frame. Blue pantsuits and dress jackets are common pieces that the princess pairs with her striking blue diamonds. 
The belief that some of the sapphire diamonds belonged to Princess Diana's wardrobe was nonetheless debunked, nevertheless. 5. Diamond Necklace and Earrings by Asprey London, featuring the Daisy Heritage a beautiful daisy pattern adorned with twelve marquise cut diamonds with a shape of enchanted blossoms forms the basis of Princess Catherine's magnificent studs. The center of the flower of painstakingly handmade studs, which cost $29,000, is embellished with a parve set brilliant cut gemstones to enhance their brilliance and lightness. The Princess of Wales wore the studs not just once in March of 2022 in Dublin, Ireland, but multiple times. In March 2023, during the St. David's Day Parade. In 2021, Catherine wore the $12,350 jewelry simply twice, for an engagement photo shoot and to record a greeting for Nursing Now. This piece of jewelry is crafted of 18 karat white gold. The stunning British model has been coy about showing off her diamond daisy studs and necklace thus far. 6. G. Colin and Sons Tanzanite Necklace and Earrings. Absolutely nobody is surprised to see the regal princess wearing such an exquisite set, since cobalt gemstones are her trademark. The shaped like a tanzanite jewelry, which cost $7,745 and were crafted by the family-owned business G. Collins & Sons, a designer with a royal warrant, have been donned by Catherine six times. Her studded earrings have a platinum halo of round diamonds, and her necklace, which retails at $10,665, showcases a similarly mesmerizing 6.3 carat tanzanite jewel surrounded by a ring of 0.87 carat diamonds. 6. The Eugenia Clip Earrings, Necklace, and Cocktail Ring by Balenciaga Stunning Balenciaga studs produced in Italy include freshwater cultivated Marbe pearls and have been seen on Catherine six times. During a March 2017 event hosted by the British ambassador in Paris, the Princess of Wales sported the same ring and necklace. Also for Easter, the stunning brunette wore stud earrings plus a pearl brooch in an identical color, even though it's not clear whether the brooch is from the same as the artist's combination. 8. Necklace and Button 167 Earrings by Asprey London The prospective queen-to-be had been a resident of London during her bachelor years and a regular wearer of the Asprey 167 button pendant necklace with an amethyst gemstone set in the middle. In 2004, the piece of jewelry was introduced into the lineup of one of the brand's hallmark groups, drawing inspiration from the button seen on the ancient English clothes. On about 29 times, Catherine has been observed sporting the white gold chain. The necklace was originally sighted outside her Chelsea residential home in 2006 while she used it during excursions to Mustique, Barbados, and Canada. When she went grocery shopping, on vacation, or to a nightclub, she frequently donned the piece of jewelry. As well as being the birthstone for February, Amethyst was traditionally associated with monarchy. It wasn't until April 2013 that the Princess of Wales wore the $4,100 necklace again while on formal royal duties. Just twice at a Rugby Portobello Trust celebration in the month of December 2017 and at a London Marathon training session in 2006 have we seen Catherine wearing the $3,900 earrings that match. 9. The Emerald and Diamond Suite Princess Catherine's four-piece perure is among her most luxurious jewellery combinations. This stunning changeable combination has an exquisite diamond and jade necklace, rectangular earrings that double as hanging earrings, as well as an adjustable collar necklace that sparkles and glistens. Two times before in 2014, Catherine wore the emerald colored earrings and bracelet during a Met benefit in New York. In February 2018, she wore the same combination to the BAFTA prizes, accessorizing with an olive colored Jenny Packham gown. Everyone thinks that the green gems were an engagement present. 10. A necklace set with ruby and diamonds Catherine presented her freshly purchased oval ruby necklace, studs and ring in the middle of the summer of 2017 upon a royal trip to Poland. G. Collins & Sons may have designed the piece of jewellery, and it may be identical to the one she wore with her sapphire. It's unclear whether the gemstone in the ring and studs are a pair due to the subtle differences in the settings. 11. A jewellery set containing antique gold vermeil earrings and custard amber pendant. This amber-yellow ensemble was introduced by the Princess of Wales in July of 2017 in Poland. 
The honey of these vintage traditional necklace and ears came straight from Gdansk, Poland, a Baltic city. These oval-shaped earrings are adorned with honey-colored amber and set in gold plating. Thanks for watching the video. What's your best matching jewelry set that you like the most? Please let us know your thoughts and goodbye for the time being.